Hi guys. So it's time for another clutch box opening. This is one of my favorite boxes. It's a little pricey. Now it's technically $10, but then you pay for shipping. So it ends up being $18 US and I think a little more for Canada. And I think it may even be available in the UK. Um, but you get so much stuff in it I don't have any problem with paying $18 for it. So, as I have always done, I have opened this because it has so many things in it and it usually has so many food products in it. Um, there are lots of unboxings of Clutch out there. Um, and there's lots of blogs with unboxings unbox of Clutch. Um, so I want to be able to review most of the things with you and I can't do that if... Um, I haven't tasted them and I can't sit down and taste everything in here in one sitting. So I open it early, taste everything. If you want to see what something looked like that I ate, you know, Google clutch unboxing for March. And actually this may be considered the April box. I think it's, I think this is the March box. Um, yeah, Google it and you will see what the item looks like, but I want to be able to review it for you, so. And it's always cute, it says, get ready, your clutch has arrived. And I get Clutch Mom um, because Clutch Women, Clutch Woman has more supplements in it. I'm not a big supplement fan. The kids box, the mom's box, has fewer supplements in it because it's got stuff for kids. So my son loves when this comes in the mail because he knows we have tweet. I need a tweet, mama. And he knows we have them because we don't usually have snacks. Um, we have fruit and vegetables and maybe a few, you know, what my husband and I snack on. It's like a big bag of walnuts. So um, not to say all the time we're healthy. I'm a baker, so we usually have bread and cookies and that kind of stuff around the house, but we don't usually have a lot of store-bought treats. And we definitely don't have chips, uh, because I'm not a big chip eater, uh, but my my son likes them. He, he will always say, I want a tweet, I want something crunchy. Um, these were barbecue potatoes. We sat out in the yard yesterday because it was beautiful and ate these pop chips. Pop chips are in a lot of boxes lately. They're They're good. Um, I don't feel bad about him eating them. I don't feel bad about me eating them. Obviously, there's not a lot of redeeming value in them. They don't give you a lot of nutrients. They're 2 grams of sugar, 1 gram of protein, 160 milligrams of sodium. But the entire bag is 100 calories. Um, if you really like chips and you want to treat every once in a while, these are not going to harm you. Um, we don't fry it. Unhealthy. We don't bake it. Undelicious. <laughs> We start with wholesome potatoes, add a little heat and pressure, and pop, it's a chip. Then we season it with the finest all-natural ingredients for a snack so tasty and crispy, you won't even notice it's, we hesitate to say, healthier. And it is, it's, it's healthier for you. They're delicious. I, I really like them too. Um, I try and leave them mostly for my son. but uh, And this is the marketing material that came with it. I always, I don't like their marketing material. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. Um, but the concept is cute. They always have a problem and a solution for each box. And I think their themes are kind of cute. Um, I don't know that I buy all their themes. They seem to just, it seems to often be just a random group of items, but they're always good. So spring fever is in the air as the first blades of grass start to shoot up from the ground and the temperatures begin to creep up. You and the family are getting restless. Get moving. From spring cleaning to restocking your pantry with lighter and more seasonal snacks to heading outside for a game of tag with tots, our March Mom's box contains all you need to put some spring in your step. So let's talk about the pop chips. These are never fried and never baked. Potato chips are popped to perfection. Pop chips have all the flavor and half the fat of other chips without all the fake stuff that gives snacking a bad rep. Snack away, knowing you aren't breaking your diet. It's okay to eat the entire bag of pop chips. It's not okay to eat the bag itself. Okay. All right, so other things that we have eaten. 
Raw Rev, we ate this last night as kind of dessert. Raw Rev 100 calorie organic live food bar. So this was very similar to other kind of raw food granola bars. They're kind of um, paste, like thick paste. Um, this had kind of a chocolatey taste. It was good. Um, this was chocolate coconut bliss. It had coconut in it. Um, my husband didn't love it because he's not huge. He doesn't like coconut in his sweets, even though he likes coconut in like savory meals. So raw revolution, gluten-free raw, vegan raw revolution organic food bars, which contain sprouted superfoods in every delectable bite. Nutrient dense and minimally processed food bars that are also dang tasty. Snack away or share with the little ones. So this little tiny thing was 100 calories. Um, it tasted really good. The problem is I would want a lot more than this. I'll, we, My husband and I shared it. We had half of it. Um, yeah, I would just, I want a whole big granola bar when I want a granola bar. It's very dense, so I can see that you might feel full after this, but my mouth wouldn't be full after this. So if you're having it like dessert, it was fine because I really only want like a bite for dessert. And it's basically cashews, sunflower seeds, agave, which we, we use agave as our sweetener mostly anyway, coconut dates, cocoa processed with alkali, almonds, sprouted flaxseed. So really nothing bad in it. Um, and it was good. I liked them. Um, I wasn't blown away, but it was good. Uh, so let's see. The next one I want to talk about is this one because I want to drink it. <laughs> Honest Fizz Root Beer. Organic zero calorie soda, naturally sweetened. So what is it sweetened with? Carbonated water, organic electrolyte, organic caramel color, natural flavors. Oh, it's, so it's stevia. Huh. All right, let's see how that goes because stevia can often have a really bitter aftertaste. And I, I do love root beer and it's really not easy to find root beer that is um, diet. You can, but I don't drink soda usually, so. Mm. If you are a big soda drinker, you might not like this because it's not terribly, terribly sweet. Although it's sweet enough, it's definitely sweet enough for me. And it really tastes like root beer. I mean, it's it's a really strong root beer flavor and it's only five grams of sodium wow I'm really impressed with this just when we were thirsty for another honestly great tasting drink a refreshing idea hit us sure we had teas and lemonades but what we didn't have were bubbles Say hello to Honest Fizz, our naturally sweetened soda with zero calories and zero sugars. It's so delicious, you'll wish we thought of it sooner. Oh, so this is from Honest Tea. This is the same, oh, huh. Oh, now I want to look and make sure it's not owned by Nestle, because since Nestle owns everything in the universe. Um, I don't know if it would say on here. Oh, that's really good. P.S. Never heard of a zero calorie root beer that's also organic? We hadn't either. Root beer has come a long way, honestly. Okay, so here's what I would say. I am not a soda drinker. I drink mostly tea. I switched from soda years and years ago. I used to be a big Diet Coke drinker. Um, and then in my, after, I pretty much put on 20 pounds every time I went to school. So I put on 20 pounds undergrad and I put on 20 pounds during my graduate school. And um, so after I got out of graduate school, I was pretty heavy. I lost about 50 pounds. And one of the things I did is I cut out all sodas. I had cut, I've been dieting since I was probably third grade. So, um, 
I was I learned how to read and put on a whole bunch of weight in second grade because all I wanted to do was sit and read and I stopped moving. If you are a soda drinker and you really can't imagine giving it up, I would honestly switch to this immediately because they've done all of these studies about um, how Diet Coke really that it doesn't really help you lose weight, that it really primes your mouth for sweet. This is a little less sweet than a lot of sodas. Um, and at least they haven't yet come out with really horrible things about stevia. Stevia is natural. And this really is organic stevia leaf extract. It doesn't seem to, I mean, I don't know what the natural flavors are, but I mean, if it really doesn't have any aspartame or, you know, all these other fake sugars in it, this is much better for you. And it's really good. Yeah, I really like that. If you notice, I chew my drinks. I always have. I don't, I drink really weird. And I occasionally spray it up my nose. Okay, so that, that I am just really really into. Honest Fizz Classic Root Beer Flavor, a naturally sweetened and zero calorie soda. Ditch the HFCS laden soda or sports beverages. I don't know what HFCS is. Your family deserves better. Quench the soda craving cleanly by enjoying this stevia and erythritol sweetened soda. I don't know what erythritol is. Now I'm kind of scared. I don't know what erythritol is. Before you take my advice and switch to this, find out what erythritol is. <laughs> E-R-Y-T-H-R-I-T-O-L. Chill this certified organic soda and then enjoy. Sorry, my son's coughing in the background. Um, but I think this is more unboxing than ASMR today. So, uh, Okay, so let's see what else is in here. We got two bags of almost nuts, which I love. Um, this one I devoured yesterday by myself because it was dark chocolate, and I love dark chocolate. It's soybeans. It's chocolate-covered soybeans, so it's actually got a lot of protein in it. It's still chocolate, sure, but um, if you really like chocolate and you want to feel full a little faster, um, these are really good. Let's see how many calories. Serving is one bag and it's 220 calories. So actually, a whole bag of these is a lot. Uh, it was a really big snack. For me. I actually ate it in two different sittings. Um, and it's a lot. Um, 220 calories is a lot. So I would say do half a bag. <laughs> but you actually feel kind of full after eating them, which with a lot of chocolates, I could just keep eating it and eating it and eating it. So these, because of the protein, do make you feel a little bit full. And they're great. Yeah, I'll have Just for you guys, I'll eat one. I, I really don't want to. It's really a hardship, but I'll eat two, actually. Yeah, they're really good. I mean, unless you really don't like soybeans. Well, they really just taste like, I mean, they really could be chocolate-covered peanuts. Unless you really have an aversion to soybeans. I can't really tell that much of a difference. So what's it say about those? I've had those before in another box. Pro I think in another clutch box. And they're great. Um, but they might be my extra. Let's see. Because I don't see them in here anywhere. Yeah. Those might be extras. Thank you if they're extras. Those are good extras. So these are some cool things that we got. Rootology, um, breathe easy rootology. Again, you know I'm not a huge fan of supplements, but these are herbal supplements for nasal sinus and eye health. My husband has had four sinus infections this winter. Um, every time he catches a cold, which we catch a cold a lot because my son is in daycare, um, he has gotten a sinus infection. I feel really bad for him. Um, so we will try these 
He, this last time, he tried every homeopathic thing he could possibly find on the internet, trying not to go on another round of antibiotics, because he's been on antibiotics every time. And it wreaks havoc on his stomach. It's just, you know, it's just not good for you to have that much antibiotics in your system. But nothing was cutting it, and so he did finally go on antibiotics. But um, we'll try this. Hopefully we'll try it early when he's just starting to have um, problems, when he's just starting to get a cold. Let's see, what does it say about here, on here? Homeopathic tablets, which provide non-drowsy, natural nasal and sinus support against head cold, chronic conditions, and environmental allergens like pollen, dander, and dust. And the pollen will be kicking up here soon. That always kills him. Don't let spring allergies keep you indoors. We've included Rutology for those of you looking for natural and alternative products, but as with all supplements, consult a physician before taking. Take two caplets as needed to support nasal, sinus, and eye health. Double the serving for extra support, and do not take more than eight capsules in a day. Well, we have four capsules here, so I think we will definitely try those. More honest is Yum. Okay. The next things we have in here are Sleepy Time, Decaf, Green Tea. Are they both the same? Yeah, Lemon Jasmine. Um, I love Celestial se Seasonings. The one thing I, that I'm sad about is Celestial Seasonings used to make a tea called Mama Bear Cold Care. It had eucalyptus in it. It was the best cold uh, tea. And I think they still make it, but you can't find it anywhere. It drives me crazy because I loved it. Um, so, I don't see anything for Celestial Seasonings on here either. Ha ha ha. Well, maybe I got a bunch of extra stuff. Well, that'll make me happy. So, I've got, there might even be two bags in each of these. Yeah, there's two tea bags in each of these little packets, so I've got four tea bags. I got a ton of these Pure Absorb Iron liquid iron supplements. So, drink contents of one packet. If preferred, contents of each packet can be diluted in half a cup of fruit juice except grape juice or water. Um, I'm going to try one of these. This could be disgusting, but <laughs> I'm going to try one. Pure Absorb Natural Iron Supplements made from purified iron-rich water gathered in northern Wales. Huh. Interesting. So it's just water? Most traditional iron pills have a low absorption rate, so you consume a high dose to get all the iron you need. Because Pure Absorb has a high absorption rate, it delivers iron more efficiently. Adults and kids ages 4 and up may drink contents of one packet daily. It is best taken on an empty stomach as certain foods reduce the body's ability to absorb iron. All right, let's try this. Let's see what it's like. They gave me like six of them. So, let's see. It's kind of, I don't know. It tastes a little bit like tonic water. That's not, um, that's not carbonated. Here's exactly what it tastes like. When I was a kid, it's drinkable, but it's not good. Um, it's drinkable. Okay, we'll see. I'll get my iron for the day. It tastes like when I was a kid. My dad, my dad was really into horse racing. He liked horse racing a lot. Uh, he actually had partial ownership of a horse for a while. And we, he and my mom used to go to Saratoga every once in a while, and once or twice he took us with him, the, my sister and I. And Saratoga Springs has a mineral springs. And you can go, you could go and you could scoop out water and have a drink of their mineral water. And that's what this tastes like. Um, and I always thought it was kind of gross. And this wasn't too bad, but it was 
slightly bitter water. So um, I've got a whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe I'll try them uh, here and there and, and see if I notice any difference. I'm sure I don't get enough iron. Um, but, and I know sometimes I get slightly anemic, so it might be good for me. I don't know if I'd get it, if I continue with it. We'll see. Maybe this, maybe the taste will grow on me. Bitter things sometimes do, so. So the next thing in here is Do Naturals Body Wash. I love body wash. I get a lot of body wash from these uh, boxes, and, and it's always good because you always need body wash. So I was actually running out of my Honest body wash, and I know I'll have more coming, but not for a little while, so we'll have this for a little bit. And this is Do Naturals, where is that? Very vanilla body wash it uses certified organic and natural ingredients that gently clean and soften your skin. Spring clean your body with this mild formula delivered from coconut and sunflower oils. Cleanse skin with this body wash to clean away everything except your natural beauty, or the natural beauty of your skin. So that's a good thing. There's still more in here. So, Smarty Pants Vitamins. Gotten these before. Gosh, there's another iron thing in here. Okay, so I got seven of those iron things. Um, Smarty Pants Vitamins. These are gummy vitamins for, oh, this one's for grown ups, this one's for kids. Uh, that's good. All in one multivitamin plus omega 3 plus, plus vitamin D for both of these. Um, my sister takes gummies because regular multivitamins bother her stomach. Um, this would be an easy way to get my son to take a multi. Although my son doesn't really need a multi. He just, he needs a vitamin D. Um, so I might look for just that. Just because the, the studies on multis are just up and down about whether they're good for you or bad for you or neutral for you or whatever. Um, Organic sweeteners only with no high fructose corn syrup. Natural flavors and colors. Gluten casin free. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't say the organic sweeteners on the kids ones. Natural flavor. No high fructose corn syrup. Okay. So I've, I've had these before. I've given them to my son before. He likes them. Um, I had a multi today. I think I took a multi today, this morning, so I'm not going to take one now. Well, they just taste like gummies. Um, so if you ha have problems with taking uh, multivitamins, gummies may be a way. They they've worked for my sister. She's able to take the gummy ones. So This is something else that we... Oh, is there anything on Smarty Pants in here? I don't see anything on Smarty Pants either. Huh, okay. I may go through this and find all the stuff I've missed. No, I only have three things still in here. Um, so this is Think Thin Crunch Coconut Chocolate Mixed Nuts. Uh, this was a little granola bar thing. It was really good. Uh, my son really liked it. Is this Zing anything? I don't know what this is. This is an eye body. Hmm. This one isn't mentioned in there either. It was a really good little granola bar. Um, let's see. Let's see what it says. It doesn't tell me calorie count, I don't think. 7 grams of sugar, 9 grams of protein, 4 grams of fiber. I don't really need that much sugar in my granola bar. Peanuts, soy crisps, brown rice syrup, coating. Eh, it's okay. I don't know how much, how many calories it is, so that'll bug me. But it was, it was good. It was like a granola bar thing. It didn't blow me away. Um, Meyer, Mrs. Myers. I love Mrs. Myers. I love when I get Mrs. Myers stuff. Um, I just like their packaging. Their products are good quality. Um. We're actually running low on our Honest Dish Soap, too, so I'm waiting for that to come in. So we'll use this up in the meantime till that comes. Um, get dishes sparkling clean with, and this is the basil again. I really like the basil flavor, actually, flavor, scent. Um, I'm not drinking my dish soap, I promise. 
Get dishes sparkling clean with basil dish soap, which contains soap bark extract, one of nature's best degreasers. Get a head start on spring cleaning with this biodegradable, earth-friendly formula. All you need is a squirt or two, and you're on your way. So there's a couple more items in here, but they're like all coupon things. So let's see. Actually, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So one thing that they mention in the marketing material is Zing Anything. It's a $10 gift card and plus free shipping on Aqua Zingers, Vodka Zingers, and Salad Zingers products that help you twist fresh flavors into waters, cocktails, or dressings. Get the kids involved in making custom blends of flavored water or homemade dressings. They'll have fun and you'll have fresh and natural alternatives to your favorite store-bought products. Unscrew the bottom of the zinger, add ingredients of your choice, reattach the bottom cup, and fill with liquid of your choice and shake. So my guess is, is that these zingers, oh, they're like little um, water bottles that you put stuff in. I've actually been hearing about these things. Um, my guess is they cost a lot more than $10. And right now, I'm not buying anything um, that I don't absolutely need. Because um, we are saving up. We are saving up to go to Disney World this summer. Actually, in about a month. So, um, yeah, so unless it's something I really need, I'm not getting it right now because that's where all my money's going to go. And there's a coupon for Raw Revolution. There's a little coupon for the um, Iron Supplements Pure Absorb. Some information about, more information about Rootology. Breathe, breathe free nasal sinus and eye health. We'll try anything at this point. Um, eye body fit. So this is on here too. Gift card for three free months of eye body fits online basic membership, which includes access to 400 plus online workouts, training videos, and workout trackers. Springtime means rain. And though we don't expect you to do sprints and thunderstorms, we do want you to stick to your workout routine. iBody Fit gives you a program to follow from anywhere, anytime, like when the kids are at school. Enter your promo code on the sign up page, then let the games begin. So, this is my little coupon for iBody Fit. And I can get the basic for free. So, let me try that. There's a coupon for eBoost. 50% off special introductory water, green tea, coconut water, and green coffee. Um, energy shots. I don't, I don't use these. Again, there's more supplements that I don't use. And then a coupon for pop chips. So, all in all, a ton of stuff in here. Even though I'm not a big fan of coupons, unless I really get something for free. Uh, there's so much stuff in here all the time, and I get to try a bunch of different things that even though they put in a bunch of supp supplements, which I don't really like, um, it's still a great value for me. Uh, just finding this was kind of worth the box because it's really good. Um, so... So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Sorry about a little bit of noise in the background, but it's the reality of my life. And um, I had a problem with clutch. I think I missed a box because my credit card was involved in the whole Target. I, I never go to Target, but I went right when they stole all the credit card numbers. So my credit card company changed my credit card number and as a result, all of my automatic deductions, I tried to catch most of them, but I, I missed a bunch of them, and Clutch was one of them. And even though I put in the new credit card number, it took them about a month to catch up and realize they actually, it was actually really annoying 
every two days I would get an email from them saying your credit card has been declined and so every month so I would figure oh you know they just haven't gone through yet but then every like five or six days I would think well maybe I put it in wrong and I would go in and I would check and no I put it in right they just hadn't tried to run it yet um, and I started emailing like their support saying guys stop sending me these emails like figure out your email system so that it doesn't automatically send these to people who have fixed the problem uh, I never heard back from them which is annoying uh, but then all of a sudden at the normal time that they bill my credit card they billed it and it went through fine so um, we're all good but wasn't loving the way that was handled I mean I'm sure it's an automatic email system that they just couldn't stop it from sending me those emails so uh, but I'm hoping that my emails to them got them to try and figure out how to fix that in the future for other people so so there's clutch box yay um, wonderful box as usual so I will cut them some slack because I love their box all right it was good talking to you, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I am going to go cook dinner for my HelloFresh box. All right.